Why? Why did you do this? Bye 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 bye. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's so hard to say goodbye to evil spies. To the left, to the left. Oh, this is the left. It's gone, y'all. Hey guys, it's another Maintenance Monday, and I just wanted to let you know. I've already filmed this video that's really important so I want you guys to look at it because it has some really good information in it <sighs> you know we never le leave our pick natural girls you never leave our pick <laughs> Hi beauties and curls, it is Melissa Q. Welcome back for another video. And let me just start off in this Maintenance Monday during Everyday May where I do a video every single day. Hi beauties and curls, it is Melissa Q. Welcome back for another video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about something really important. Forest Fikes. Forever Forest. Forever hashtag Forest. <laughs> forest Forever. Well, today we are doing this, but it's not Forest Forever or Wakanda Forever. It is Eco Styler Never Again. That's over there by uh, Wakanda? Eco Styler? Is that a country? No, Eco Styler is the jail I've been oh, using. Oh, I thought that was a country. And I'm if you're not interested, Go on TNT and watch <laughs> no. the NBA playoffs. With well, we're getting ready to watch. We're getting ready to watch it in a couple of minutes. Okay. So I'm glad Forrest is here because this is crazy. I'm okay. Not glad. I don't want to be here. I'm going to watch. Yes, you do. You want to eat? I'm hungry. She has not, ooh. The food is almost done. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the reason why I am here is because you got to listen. I'm listening. Okay. The reason why I'm here is because. I just threw away. Did you see the the all the gels that I threw away in that bag the other day? Thank yesterday? God. Thank what God. What you mean, thank God? Do you know the reason why I did? Because they were old. No. My girl, Bree Hall, who is also a curly girl. I met her at Gem Beauty. Super sweet. Beautiful. Inside and out. Um, she actually posted a video yesterday talking about why Eco Styler is is toxic in her life and when she started talking about the ingredients you guys i was blown away now some of you all have talked to me in the comments and let me know girl why are you still using eco styler gel and y'all i was getting the teary eyes putting the gel in my in my hair and my scalp was getting um, itchy and forrest can even attest to this the last year and a half I've had so, so much difficulty growing my hair, but that's the main joke I have been using. I'm going to leave Bree's video over here in the iCard so you guys can check it out. But seriously, it kind of low-key scared me because it's a ingredient. I don't have it anymore. I'm going to show a picture of all the gels that I found in my, in my stash that actually contains these, like, ingredients okay Forrest had to go get Jojo so he did step out I changed the angle because at first both of us were in the frame now it's just me but I just wanted to let you guys know off frame I was just telling Forrest the ingredients he knew that I threw away the gels because he's the one that threw them away and he was like oh good you just like decluttering but those I did not intend to declutter but after watching Bree's video and even watching the YouTuber that she watched and you guys have been telling me girl why are you like still using eco solid gel and I was like girl this stuff is good what are you what you talking about but this is why you know what when you know better you do better I did not do my research in terms of eco styler gel a lot of the other products that I have y'all know that glycerin is the devil but in terms of in terms of eco styler I just assumed it was back in the day and that's when I was just putting whatever in my hair I was starting to use inexpensive products because products can be pricey but y'all I have just experienced that if I want the hair growth if I want things to be the way that it needs to be for my hair I need to spend some money and and not to say that all products are like that I have come with 100% products from the drugstore my love for my black owned businesses are not just because I am supporting my own but it's because 
we know what's really good for our hair and the reason why we came off the creamy crack in the first place and what I'm talking about is a relaxer because I used to have one is because of the chemicals and the things that were so harmful to our bodies and for, to go from that and then go to like hair gels and different products that are not good for our hair this actually this epiphany has really opened up my eyes to really even look at makeup but anyway I just wanted to say it made me think about if I went from a relaxer and then now I'm using a toxic gel and I'm sorry no shade on Eco Styler but when I saw that I was like what what huh? like really and for the last and force knows the struggle y'all know the struggle because I was about to do a serious big chop a lot of trying products is by experimentation but i'm going back to the basics y'all to be honest with you i know this is a chit chat and this may run a little bit longer than usual i'm trying to cut back and keep my keep my video short but because this is a maintenance monday and this is an important issue i definitely want to talk about this and y'all I think I'm just going to go back to the basics. I really want to apologize for any eco styler that I have put in a giveaway, any gel that I have put in a giveaway with these ingredients. I'm going to leave the main key ingredients that she talked about just so you can do your own research. This video is, of course, informational. So if you don't want to, you know, if you want to discard it, you know, I just want to put it out there because I feel bad, you know, for even like, I, I don't even know what to say right now, y'all. It's just not good, you know. I decluttered those gels and you know what? It makes me go back to the basics of knowing exactly what's in my products i do have an idea that i think i'm going to do i think i'm gonna do it eco styler was one of those gels that everybody pretty much starts off with and that's why i guess it's a big deal i know there are a lot of naturalistas that really rely on that gel but you know if you're getting teary eyes if your scalp is itchy if your pores are open and you are using this on wet hair i just want you to take heed to what you are putting on your hair and you know what spend a little bit more money on the gels you know what makes me feel good is that I know that there are other youtubers there are other youtubers that value their voice their integrity and things that they if they if I'm not gonna put it on my hair why in the world would I put it in a giveaway or you know I can't fake the funk y'all okay I just have to say it like it is and it's just it's not in my routine it's not in my stash I I'm I feel like I really want the especially the ones that I d I've done reviews and I talked about really loving the product I did at that time but I did not realize what I was like I didn't know that the itchiness the teary eyes was coming from the jail like I remember putting on the coconut eco styler and it being very strong I think even in that video I may have even mentioned that or in the black seed the the flaxseed oil the black castor and flaxseed oil video that I did I think I even mentioned that it was strong I don't know I'm gonna go back and I'm just going to unlist those videos. Either I'm going to unlist or I might actually take them down. I don't know. Maybe I'll unlist them just so you guys can see. The love for Eagle Styler on my channel was for real. Like I use the green. And you're going to see in the video. I'm going to put a clip in here of the ones that I had. But y'all, those are gone. I'm telling you, I'm going back to the basics. And if I can't understand it or read it. Or know what I'm putting in my hair it's not going in my hair I will spend the extra money and at least my hair was like really growing it was thick and eco styler I'm telling y'all I for the last year and a half this is what's bothering me now I'm not saying that it was the total reason because I think wash and goes had a lot to play with that too but wash and goes and then you taking 
a gel that has all of these ingredients or it's not all the ingredients it's just like a few ingredients that are not good for your hair and putting in your hair and putting in my hair you know let me speak for myself I'm putting in my hair I just I feel bad I feel bad so basically this was an eye-opening video you guys I just want to thank you all for any of you all that told me about eco styler and what it was doing and like why are you still using it and you know what oh my goodness oh my goodness i remember a youtuber actually sending me an email about eco styler and i totally deleted like girl uh-uh no i'm sorry i'm sorry y'all like, Eco Styler, what? Uh-uh. There's nobody talking about this. But you know what? That's why we have YouTube. Because if we know better, we do better. And that's why, Brie, thank you, girl. And thank you for any YouTuber that has made a video about this. And I just want to bring some light for those of you all that watch me. I know that the majority of my channel... And the viewers on my channel watch a lot of my natural hair videos. So I just want to let you know that um, I won't be using that anymore. I know you can take my information that I am sharing what Brie shared. I highly recommend you check out those two videos because she goes more in depth. Not Brie. Brie talks about her own experience and sh her being sick. Oh my goodness. And... The other YouTuber in her video just really breaks it down and she take brings it breaks it down to a science. I highly recommend you all, you all checking out those two videos. So, so I know I won't be using Eagle Styler anymore or any of the gels that contain these. I, I can't even say the name is try. I don't even remember because I threw it away, but I'm going to list all the I'm going to enlist those those ingredients down below that she really pinpoints and um yeah i can't even remember it so i know i talked about eco styler never using it again and some the other gel my favorite gel the aloe the wet gel the super wet not gonna be using that anymore but i am gonna show you the gels that i have looked at the ingredients and are safe to use so again, these are the products that I am going to be decluttering, you guys. I'm not giving this to anybody. I had some of these in a giveaway, so again, I apologize. I feel so bad right now. I seriously do, and I want to apologize for it. But let me show you some alternative gels that I love, okay? Let me get to those. Let me move these out of the way because these are going in the garbage, Okay, these are going in the garbage. Let me show you some that are really, really good. This is where I keep all of my hair care products. Let me know, comment down below if you wanna see a stash video. Let's talk about my favorite gel, y'all. I keep this in stock. This is the Smooth Naturals Hair Perfection. It's perfection and y'all, none of those bad chemicals that were discussed, but every single, every single, um ingredient that they have on this bottle i understand i know what it is and that's what i'm going to be doing from now on curl junkie curl queen another good one these are cruelty free some of these are vegan um brands as well but uh yeah so this is you know and cruelty free just means that it's animal they're not testing on animals but that does not mean that a chemical cannot cause your health you know to be bad so uh yeah this one is really good hello curly i think i've talked about this before and i also have the old school uncle uncle funky's daughter curly magic that's another good gel let's talk about some more gels in here i actually have some that i need to oh allocate naturals this stuff is bomb a lot of them are black owned and this is why I support my black owned businesses. It's not because it's not because the well the product is already good. It's not only because I'm supporting my own, but they a lot of these brands use products that are good for our hair. 
They are natural products. They are projects that you can understand. You can understand castor seed oil. You can understand marshmallow root. You can understand nettle leaf. You can understand, you know, aloe vera juice. You can understand water. You can understand glycerin, although it is the devil in my hair. And you know what? My hair can tolerate it under dew points. I don't want to keep saying that, you know, I totally don't use glycerin, but I try to really, it's like a diet. I try not, glycerin is like sugar. I need to keep it out of my diet, but sometimes, you know, you know what I'm saying? But um, I'm going to show you a couple of gels that you can use. So these are pricey, but spend the extra money, you all, especially if it's good, just spend the extra money. Your hair will love it. And it's like a luxury item, you all. Why? You know, I don't want a chance having bad hair days. And you all always comment, you like, you always look like you have good hair days. I spend money, okay? But I feel like hair, teeth, skin, nails, those are things that I'm going to spend the money on. Complexion, I'm going to spend the money. Maybe not as much as in color, but y'all, spend just spend the extra money. When your health is at stake, just spend the extra money. I hope this was helpful to somebody. Comment down below. Let me know what your th thoughts are because this is uh, an important issue, obviously, to me because I've been rambling for so long. But comment down below. Let me know what you think about this and check out their videos and then come back and comment and let me know what you thought. That's all I have to say that Wakanda forever, Force forever, but Eco Styler never again. Thanks so much. I'll see beautiful you in the next video. Bye, guys.